Hi, welcome to this week's newsreel from Texas Weekly. This week, the House is starting to look at spending bills. They're going to look at three supplemental appropriations bills. The first one has to pass. It's become known as the Medicaid IOU bill, and it would cover the money that the legislators left off of Medicaid spending last time. They have to cover that. They have to cover it in March, or they can't pay hospitals and doctors. That one has to pass. There are two other bills behind it. The first of them would be on, on spending that has cropped up during the biennium that they didn't expect. Wildfires, um, medical care in prisons and some things like that. That's a potential Christmas tree for legislators looking for ways to spend money. And the third is a bill that's still under discussion that would pay back some deferrals from education spending and the like, another chance for a Christmas tree amendment. There's a small group of Democrats and Republicans working behind the scene to put some money back into education from the cuts that were made two years ago. Uh, that's in the House side. Uh, see if they can get something done there and see if the Senate will go for it. So that's something we're looking at going forward. The state isn't doing Medicaid expansion as part of the Affordable Care Act, but uh, some of the big counties in the state, notably Dallas County, are jumping into that space and may ask for Medicaid expansions on their own to try to draw down some federal funds. And Land Commissioner Jerry Patterson, a candidate for Lieutenant Governor in 2014, was at the Trib Live this week um, on Valentine's Day. They were referring to it as the Guns and Roses interview. And he talked about guns, immigration, and about why he's running for office in 2014. I just think that I, at this point in time, could lead better than any other contender uh, that's in the mix. And that's the newsreel this week.